Hey guys, happy Sunday. Welcome back to another vanity chat slash chill with me Sunday. So I just realized I did not upload the video where I showed you guys my everyday makeup drawers. So I'm gonna do that today. And I'm also gonna be using the products that are in the drawer. For those of you that are new to my channel, this is what we do on Sundays. We do these vlog style type videos. So very laid back. I'm either sitting here at my vanity doing my makeup with you guys. I'm either organizing, cleaning, just anything random and laid back. That's what we do on Sundays. Um, and also, if you've never heard of me talk about my everyday makeup drawer, it's where I go in my entire collection and I pull out products that I wanna focus on for that month. So I try to do these monthly, so that way I can either use up the products that I have, either try out some products and get like a good, um, good use out of them. That way I can update you guys on my thoughts on the product or just use products that I totally forgot about that were in my collection. So I always like to kind of rotate my um, my collection so that way there's no products just sitting there and not getting any use and just expiring and all of that. So um, yeah, so that is what we're doing today. And I think I wanna do, um, I'm thinking like a natural glam. I'm not gonna put on any lashes, just something really soft and natural, but at the same time, I do want to take some pictures for my Instagram, and I always like to have like my lashes on. But, I don't know, I might just do like a soft, everyday, natural picture or something. I don't know, but, oh, follow me on Instagram if y'all are not following me on there. Now, I will say I did not put my skincare in the drawer. It's actually in my bathroom right now. So I'm just gonna focus on primers and the makeup and all of that that's in the drawer right now. So with the primers, I pulled out three. Um, one of them I wanna use up because I do have a brand new one that's sitting in the drawer. This is the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Dew Primer. I think they still have the little set where you can get the primer and also a lip gloss and a um, a gel eyeshadow. It comes in like a little set. I think they still have that on Ulta, but that's where I got this. Um, I've actually had questions on where I got the tiny one because they only sell like the larger one, but the tiny one is in a set on Ulta. But yeah, I wanna use this up. I'm actually almost out of it, so I do wanna use that up for the month. And I did pull out my Fenty Beauty Primers. I haven't used these in a while. I got the hydrating one and the matte one. I feel like I'm gonna run out of the matte one faster than I am the hydrating one, even though y'all know I love a hydrating product on my face. But I like the mattifying one more than I do the other matte one, which was the very first one that they had. I like this one more because it controls my oils more than the first one. And I do have an oily T-zone for those of you that are new to my channel. But um, yeah, I like this one more. And I also like how it doesn't feel drying on the skin. So it's almost like, um, it's almost like I'm applying a moisturizer, but it helps controls my oils. Now I'm not gonna use this one today. I'm gonna use a hydrating one. I like to use a hydrating one with matte foundations. Um, I'm just gonna pump out a couple of pumps and put this on my face. Even a, like a hydrating foundation, but I prefer to use a matte Fenty primer with a hydrating foundation than the hydrating primer with a hydrating foundation. Does that make sense? Am I making any sense? But that is on the skin. Now, um, I am gonna be using a matte foundation today. I still um, wanna continue to use the CoverGirl Full Spectrum. This was in my everyday makeup drawer last month, but I actually wanna use this one up I wanna use the NYX Born to Glow Up. I'm almost out of this. So I pulled that back out. And I also wanna really try to use up my NARS Natural, what is this, a Natural Radiant Foundation. Y'all can see here, I am pretty much almost scraping this. So I definitely wanna use that up. And I'm going back to using my Too Faced Born This Way, which is also another foundation that I'm almost out of. So all four of these foundations, I really wanna just go ahead and use up. So that way they're not, you know, just sitting there and all of that. But today I am gonna be using my matte, May, uh, what's called the Matte Ambition Foundation. This one is from CoverGirl. And I'm just gonna, oh, wait, hold on. 
wait a minute i get so excited when i talk about stuff so i forgot what i need to do next actually i need to do my brows first because i always do my brows before anything so the brow products i have a few brow products one of them is throwback it is a throwback brow product wait i thought i had more yeah i do i have four four brow pencils in total i know i look crazy with this foundation right here but i have four brow pencils in total that i want to use this month i brought back out the mac spiked brow pencil do you guys remember this brow pencil it's called the um eyebrows crayon that's all I, yeah it's just called the eyebrow crayon but it's in the shade spiked only thing I don't like about this is you can't twist it down so if you twist up too much of the product you cannot twist it down so um, but I brought it back out because I haven't used this in so freaking long let me know if you guys remember this let me know I'm actually gonna use that today another one that I pulled out for the month is my Anastasia brow this is the um the perfect brow pencil this one is getting shorter and shorter and shorter I put this one in my everyday makeup drawer I think too much straight um a couple of months back so I do want to continue to use this and actually try to use this one up as well I'll probably put it in my everyday makeup drawer next month too and then I pulled out my covergirl what is it the covergirl brow pencil in the shade soft brown by the way I'm in the shade dark brown is it dark brown yeah dark brown in the Anastasia pencil um and I told y'all spiked in the mac another one i pulled out is the new minted brow pencil i'm in the shade brow or later i am gonna use first off let me at least let me blend this out because i know i'm looking a little crazy with this on my face so i'm just gonna go ahead and blend it out at least in my t-zone area we'll go back to the foundation but right now i want to go ahead and do my brows another thing about this pencil is it doesn't come with a spoolie so I'm going to have to reach for, let me use my Anastasia spoolie just to brush up my brow hairs. I also want to point out these types of videos, um, these vlog style videos. It's more so so you guys can just sit here and chill with me and just watch me do my makeup. I know the lighting can be weird and you probably can't see like the products as good when I apply it on the skin. but. The whole concept is to actually just sit here, chill with me, watch me do my makeup because I do have, um, I do film with my vlogging camera so you guys are not going to really see in depth, like an in depth tutorial. That's what the video, like the videos that I do throughout the week are for. Because I did get a comment on one of these videos. I think it was when I was doing the, um, the video where I showed the new Oma palette. I did like a tutorial using the Oma Beauty palette and the comment, I forgot what it said word for word, but they were basically like, um, can you change the lighting in the video or the lighting is weird. We can't really see what you're doing. Um, <laughs> speak of the lighting, I just looked up and it went dark. But yeah, basically they were like, the lighting looks weird in the video. They can't really see what I'm doing. Um, they can't really see the true color of the products that I'm using. But keep in mind, if y'all want to see like legit thorough makeup tutorials, watch my videos throughout. Like I upload every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. So Wednesday and Friday, those are either makeup tutorials or just sit down videos showing my favorite products. Just more um, professional lighting and all of that. Like you guys can see it more clear in those types of videos. But these on Sundays, we're just chilling girl. Like nothing is perfect. I'm just chilling, doing my makeup, talking with you guys and all of that. So brows are on. Next, I also like to go in and just clean them up. Y'all know the drill. Y'all know the drill. This is the Kevin Aquan shade number 13 in the Sensual Skin Enhancer. And dang it, crap, I am dropping stuff. I wonder how my face looks with that foundation just right there. <laughs> I 
get so caught up when I'm talking about like when I'm talking about products that I'm using as I apply the products I get so caught up and forget like my own makeup steps like I be forgetting girl I be forgetting all right I'm gonna clean up the brows with this I have been using this stuff for the longest and there's still a lot of product like so much product in this thing but next we can apply the rest of the foundations I'm gonna go back in with a little bit more I actually like mixing this with my NYX Born to Glow so that's what I'm gonna do instead of just using that by itself I'm gonna mix it in with my Born to Glow foundation and I have cappuccino in the NYX and I use the shade um, Deep Golden in the CoverGirl Full Spectrum. Okay, we got the foundation on. Next is the concealers. So I grabbed a couple of concealers that um, I have some repeats. So I pulled back out the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. I feel like I'm never going to use this up even though I'm still scraping it. Like, I'm scraping the actual tube, but it's still product coming out. So I'm going to use this until I can't use it anymore. I have the shade Deep Chestnut and I also pulled out this new concealer that I tried out in one of my recent videos. I did like a full face testing new products that I pulled out of my closet. So this was one of them. This is the Casas concealer in the shade uh, 08. I also pulled out my Pat McGrath concealer. I have the shade MD23. And another concealer I pulled out is one that I haven't used in a while. This is the Beauty Bakery concealer in the shade Sugar Daddy. It's their Insta Bake 3-in-1 concealer. So since I haven't used this one in a while, this is what I'm about to use today. And just apply it under my eyes. So this is a good highlighting shade for me. Wow, I don't even remember the last time I tried, like, I remember trying it out, but I don't remember the last time I actually used this with you guys. Um, I've used it a few times off camera, but I do not remember the last time I even used this in a video. Like, at all. At all. So that's why it's important to rotate your products. My battery is about to die already. I feel like I just put the freaking battery in. Okay, let me change the battery in my camera. Let me change it. All right, we are back in charge. So I need to put on something on my lips. Totally forgot to do that before. They are dry. This is the CoverGirl um, Clean Fresh Tinted Lip Oil. This is the clear one though. It says transparent on it. I'm just gonna put this all over my lips. Now, setting powder. Ooh, Laura Mercier Press Powder. I have not used this in a long time. A long time. This is the translucent one. And it's pretty much like the loose one. It's just in press. Like, it's just a pressed powder. But I haven't used it in a while. So, I pulled this one out. I also pulled out my Pat McGrath Powder in the shade Medium 3. And I pulled out my OG Too Faced Peach perfect powder now this one is the cam um, caramelized peach one but y'all know well if y'all have been watching me for a while back in the past y'all know I used to always 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 rave about this powder I used to use the um the original one and then they came out with this new shade but I pulled it out because I haven't used it in a long time and it's definitely one of my like top favorite mattifying powders I also pulled out the new bite beauty powder this is um one of my newer pressed powders I have the shade deep number two this is the one that I'll use like to set around my face and I also brought back out my MAC mineralized skin finish I have the shade dark deepest and this is also another one of those pressed powders that I'll use around the edges of my face so anywhere that I don't apply my loose setting powder 
And then I have two more that I pulled out. I pulled out the Charlotte Tilbury powder in the shade uh, number three dark. This is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. I just used this one in my most recent um, full cover soft glam. And I used this one in that video if y'all wanna check it out. And I also wanted to pull out the uh, Nabla powder. Now this one is almost similar to, this one is another one of those pressed powders that I'll use just kind of like for brightening. But this one is kind of similar to the Charlotte Tilbury. They have the same like, actually, instead of saying kind of similar, I would say it's a good dupe because they feel the same. They have that really soft, silky, like they're so silky and they also kind of blur out the skin. So both of these are really, really, really similar. I pulled this one out because I only use this maybe twice, maybe twice since I ever had it. And then the Charlotte Tilbury, I've used it a few times, but I wanted to pull this one out because I still want to kind of dip into it and just kind of juggle between the two for the month. And of course the other powders that I want to juggle between, but I want to use the Laura Mercier today. This brush, the Mario, is the Makeup by Mario Sephora brush. I have been using the mess out of this brush for like pressed powders. It's like, it's kind of dense, but at the same time, it's not like too, too hard. It's the perfect type of brush to use to set your under eye. I just set my under eyes with it. I just tap it tap in that product to set my under eyes like that yeah I have not used this powder in forever now moving on to oh the other powder that I'm gonna use I'm gonna go ahead and use the MAC mineralized because I don't remember the last time I used it on camera with you guys this is again in the shade dark deepest and I just like to take it all over the face just where I didn't apply the loose setting powder and this just kind of brings a little bit more color into my skin and also just kind of evens everything out so my face won't look too washed out from the um, the translucent powder so I'll just take it around this is actually my second one my second powder actually no i think this is my third one because this was all that i used to use um before even doing youtube like this one and the mac studio fix powder those two were the powders that i always used before even like starting my channel so i think this was my i want to say this is the third one that i've gone through and it's this one's fairly new so but yeah now for my bronzer, I thought I pulled out more than one. Hmm. I thought I pulled out more than one, but I have the Jouer bronzer. This is the newer one. Well, the new shade is called um, Sun Glow and Sun Gaze. And I already did like a first impression slash review on this. So it is already on my channel. But I'm going to use this as my bronzer today gonna take this brush I've been liking these these are um, I got like a set from Sephora I got it a while back but I just now started using it it's like a I think it was like a set of six seven brushes but yeah I've been enjoying this one for sure this is the powder brush but I use it as my bronzer so I'm gonna take this darker shade in here um, and just bronze up my face Then I am, I'm gonna take a loose, my loose powder. This is the Peach Too Faced Sweet Peach, well, Perfect Peach. This is where I take it down the sides of my nose. I do this because this is the first part of my face that gets really, really oily. Like my nose is the first area on my face. And since I'm sitting in front of my hot lights, it gets hot, girl. It gets hot. So also if there's any like fallout from eyeshadow, it can kind of fall off on the powder. And then I just dust it away later on. 
Now, as far as eyeshadow palettes, I grabbed my Too Faced Natural Nudes, which I have been obsessed with. I think I've been wearing this a few times in my most recent uh, videos that I uploaded on my channel, and I've also been wearing this off of camera. But this is definitely one of my favorite like nude neutral palettes um, as of now. And then I also pulled out my Revolution palette by Patricia Bright. I did like a full tutorial using this palette on my channel already, but I want to use it some more. And I also want to put it in like one of my five look one palette videos. You guys know I have that series on my channel where I do five looks using only one um, eyeshadow palette. So I definitely want to put this one in that video. So I think I have my next one coming up. I think it's going to be next week. I think. I don't know when, but I do have one um, coming up. So anyway, I'm gonna use this palette today since I wanna do like a really soft natural look. I'm gonna use the Too Faced. And you know what I noticed about these shadows? I think I've already said it in the video where I did my first impression on this, but these lighter mattes, like this one right here, this one right here, they actually look darker once you apply it. It's so weird. Like they look light in the pan, but once you actually apply them and blend them out, and also when you swatch them, they swatch so much darker than they look in the pan, which I like I like that so um, I'm gonna go into the shade Coco this color right here and I think I'm just gonna put this um, let me see I think I actually want to just put this all over because why not yeah I'm just gonna put it all over we're doing a soft natural look today I'm just gonna pack it all over my lid hey what are you doing Hey, I love, 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 love how these blend and how they look like, ugh. girl, don't sleep on this palette. Don't sleep on it. You may think it looks ashy, but these shades work. Like they show up so much better once you actually apply them instead of, you know, just looking at them in the palette. They show up so beautifully on the skin. I like how they have the shades in here. So you have matte shades and then on top of the matte shades, like there's a um, there's a shimmer shade in it. So for every matte shade, there's a shimmer shade that goes with it. Really, really pretty. But look at the eyes, y'all. Look at how pretty that is. And then look how light it looks in the palette like hello right there that color right there but it shows up so much darker on the eyes Ooh, it is raining we needed this rain girl when i tell you it is so much pollen and i am so allergic to pollen so we needed the rain we definitely needed this rain okay so I'm not gonna put on any lashes. I'm just gonna use mascara, but I do wanna line my waterline. But yeah, these are the only two eyeshadow palettes that I have in my everyday makeup drawer for this month. Ooh. Now, I do have a couple of eyeliners that I pulled out. I have a repeat, well, two repeats, and I pulled out another one. Let me just try to get them all out. So I only pulled out four eyeliners that I am trying to go through for the month. I pulled out my Pat McGrath. This is the shade Black Coffee. This is a really, really, really dark chocolate eyeliner. I also pulled out my Essence, which I haven't used this one in a while. And this one's almost out, so I'm gonna try to use this one up. I'll probably use it up within the next week or so. But it's the Long Lasting Eye Pencil in the shade Hot Chocolate. It's one of those creamy, brown like chocolate brown eyeliners and then i also pulled back out my revlon this is the so fierce vinyl eyeliner in the shade mighty mocha another one of those brown liners so i have three brown liners that i like to put on my waterline and then the last one is this one by pixie this is i tried this one out last month and i was very very impressed with it it is so 
silky smooth. It's called their Endless Silky Eye Pen. And I have the shade, this is a black, but it's called um, Black Muir. But when I tell you this is the most creamiest black eyeliner from the drugstore, this one and the L'Oreal Silkaseam is very, very creamy like this. So I would say those two, well these, this one and the L'Oreal are the most creamiest black, like super, super, super black eyeliners that I've tried from the drugstore. But I am gonna use brown today. I'm gonna go back to using my, oh, I'm dropping things where they're not supposed to be. Let me put this back in there. But I'm gonna use the Revlon Mighty Mocha and just put this on my waterline. Riley! Girl, let me, sh let me show y'all what my dog be doing. Hold on, let me get her. Look at this. Look at this, y'all. Look, look at her mouth. Look at her mouth. What she got? What she got? Uh-uh, show them what you got. Show them what you got in here. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Show them what you have in your mouth, girl. Look at her. Girl, is that Ardell Remy Lash? Is that Ardell Remy? <laughs> she mad at me. <laughs> She is mad at me. They have been so happy that we've been home. When I tell you, like, my dogs, and they've been getting into so much stuff, especially my little one. Um, the one that I just showed y'all, she is my youngest. She gets into everything, everything, but she is just the most cutest little thing ever. My oldest, she is just so chill and laid back. But Riley, my oldest is um, Callie. Her name is Callie. But Riley, girl, Riley is something else. Riley does not mind being on camera. You guys have seen her several times. Callie is more reserved, more don't bother me type. Ever since we got Riley, Callie has turned into that type of dog. Like, she used to be like, one of those very needy, always want to be under you. But ever since we got our little one, she is more like, uh-uh, don't bother me. Y'all got, y'all got somebody in replace of me. <laughs> oh my gosh. They have the best personalities though. Oh dang, I didn't show y'all what I was doing. Right here, I'm just smudging out that eyeliner using the chocolate shade in here. This dark chocolate. I'm just smudging out that brown eyeliner. This just kind of smokes out the bottom lash line. Um, now I am gonna show y'all the mascaras. I have another repeat. One that is, this Fenty mascara is almost out. Like I can tell when my mascaras are about to be done because they start, it's almost like they start seeming like they're dried out. But this one I've used a lot. So I'm gonna try to use the rest of whatever is out, whatever else is in here. And I also pulled back out my CoverGirl Uncensored Mascara. This has easily become one of my favorite drugstore mascaras. I had this one in my everyday makeup drawer last month. Um, and also I think a month before that, or maybe, I know, I've, I know last month was the second time I used it throughout the month, but I wanna use this one up as well. So this, but I want to use these up as well. So both of these I'm trying to go through for the month. Today I'm going to use the CoverGirl Uncensored. This one is the um, the newer exhibition. This one is the newer one. The older one comes in a silver tube. But I like this one better than I do the older one. Zoom, zoom, zoom. My mom go boom, boom. My supernova girl. Okay. Lashes are done. My little baby lashes. You can barely see them but it is okay it is okay so um now i have blushes 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 the three blushes that i pulled out i pulled out two of my minted i have a shade peach for the stars this is like a coral um like a coral orange peachy color and i also pulled out my favorite shade from minted which is clay too much this is a really, really pretty natural everyday type of color. And then another one I pulled out, which I know I haven't used in a while. This is the Laura Mercier 
blush in the shade Cur Royale. And it's like a pretty, ooh, this will be pretty with this look. It's a pretty plum purple shade. And that is exactly what I'm gonna use today. Now, highlighter, I only pulled out one. I pulled out a palette. This is the Huda Beauty 3D Highlighter Palette in the shade Bronze Sands, and I know for a fact I haven't pulled this out in maybe over a year. It has been a long, long, long time. So this is how it looks on the inside. I did like a full um, review on this, but it was like over a year. But I know I haven't really um, used it on my channel in, ever since then. So that's what we are using. And I honestly don't even want to put on any highlighter today. Honestly and truly. But yeah, I don't think I'm going to do it. But I will go in with this color right here and put this on top of my blush. So it'll be like a blush topper. So this does have like a little sheen in it. And this is gonna give me a glow. Look how pretty that is. This gives me a subtle glow, but it also, it is a color, but just give me a little bit more glow and also kind of use it as a blush topper. Let me dust it off the side of my face. All right, girl, this is how we are looking so far. Very, very soft and pretty. Now, what else do I have in here to share? I think that's all, well, of course, the lip products, but y'all know I keep an entire box of lip products in here. I can pull it out. So these are like my everyday lip colors that I keep in my drawer like at all times, pretty much. Hmm, what color did I want to use today? Let's go ahead and use the Revolution Pro Lipstick and then I'm also going to use my Artist Couture Gloss in the shade Uncensored. And I also want to line my lips, even though I honestly don't need to with those shades, but just to line my lips anyway, I'm going to take my MAC Cork Lip Liner. I'm going to take, so I'm going to line the lips. I'm not even going to take off the lip oil. I'm just going to keep it on there and just go around the edges of my lips with the MAC lip pencil. And I'm gonna take the Revolution Pro Lipstick. Love this nude, y'all, oh my gosh. I saw that they have it on Ulta now. At first, they didn't have these on Ulta because these are the newer ones, but they are available on Ulta now. And this is in the shade Latte. I'm going to go on top of it with my Artist Couture Gloss, just to give me a little bit more shine. Like that. Mmm, this is such a pretty soft look. I love. And then the setting sprays, I pulled out two that I am going to be using up. I have my Pixie Makeup Fixing Mist. This is the Rose Water. And then the Farsali Rose Gold Skin Mix, um, Skin Mist. So as y'all see here, we are going to be using these up for the month for sure. So I think I want to go in, let's do this, let's do this one and spray it all over. Mmm, so refreshing. And I do like to take my sponge when I use that mist and just kind of um, press it into the skin. And this sponge is damp, by the way. I just press it in to the skin. But this is how my face looks after I get done. I think we're done. Yep, we're done. So I'm gonna take you guys over here so y'all can see how I look in natural daylight. So I'm gonna stand right in front of my window so y'all can see. Oh girl, it is coming down out there. But yeah, let me, let me show y'all. All right, this is how we look in natural daylight. It is really, 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 really cloudy outside. So hopefully y'all can really see how my face looks because it is kind of dull. Like the lighting makes it look pretty dull, but very, very natural looking, very soft. Y'all know I love these soft, neutral, natural, everyday looks. And that is exactly um, what this looks like to me. So. 
yes that is all that i have for today i want to know if you guys are still rotating your products like um how long like how often are you doing it are you doing it monthly are you doing it weekly i know a lot of us are having to stay home now because of the virus so let me know if you're focusing more on skincare this month i know for me i'm doing i'm really focusing on a lot of skincare this month so and like i said earlier i have most of the products in my my bathroom right now but i'm focusing on a lot of skincare i'm actually purchasing um i'm gonna be doing the well purchasing some products during the sephora sale but most of those products are gonna be skincare and body care products but let me know are you guys rotating your makeup still what are you using for the month what are you trying to use up for the month let me know so let's talk about it down below in the comments and i think that's all that i have for today yeah that's all i'm not even gonna take my hair down girl i'm just gonna chill like this i'm probably gonna take this makeup off but i really just wanted to sit there and do my makeup with you guys and show you guys what i'm you know using for the month so that is it girl that is all that i have i hope you enjoyed today's video or today's vlog let me know by giving it a huge thumbs up make sure that you are subscribed if you're not subscribed already and i'll see you guys in my next one bye